Olympic journey presented by Chevrolet, official vehicle of the Vancouver 2010 Winter Games, here for every moment. All of a sudden, one day I woke up and Ice Dance and Tessa and I were, that was my whole life. There is no next partner for me. I just can't imagine skating with anyone else. I've, I've skated with Scott since I was seven. Not only would it just feel weird and, and kind of wrong, it's not an avenue I want to go down. I was six years old when I met Scott at the Elderton Skating Club. I was nine and pretty outgoing for nine years old. My mom and my aunt ran the skating camp that we were at and unfortunately I knew it so I just kind of ran around and caused trouble and uh, used to tease all the girls I could and Tessa was one of them I guess. All the little girls had a big crush on him and I was certainly one of those girls. <laughs> I don't really remember being attracted to Tessa as a young guy, you know, I kind of just went about my business. I was always going after the older girls and when my aunt put the two of us together and, and started skating, I guess that's when we got shy and um, kind of stopped talking a little bit uh, when we started skating together. Well, when we first started skating, my thoughts were it was pretty awkward. I'm not sure there was anything particularly special about the two of us at the time. You know, I was just kind of doing it to, to keep my mom happy, and uh, my older brother did it, so I, I kind of was just doing it to try and keep up with him, I guess. We didn't say a word to each other for probably at least two years, and I know we were dating, so there was some sort of relationship there, which maybe made it a little bit more awkward. And uh, I was a huge fan of it at first, actually. I haven't told very many people that, but uh, after a couple years, after we broke up our hot and heavy relationship that we had, uh, we started talking a little bit more and having a little bit more fun. We took it year by year, and here we are. Our first year at the senior level in 2005, we wanted to come out as a new team. We didn't want to look junior, we wanted to look mature. And we were quite young, I was only 15. It's hard to look mature on the ice, but we came up with a tango program that showed our, our connection and a passionate skate, and, and I think it worked. In order to get into character on the ice, I need to sort of channel an alter ego. We're trying to get back to the roots of dance. At this point, I think that's what people really want to see in skating, and we feel like that's one of our strengths. Scott is more technical than I am. When we're putting together a program, he's always worried about the elements and the edges, what's going to get us a level four, which is great. On the flip side, I'm always worried about arm movements and expression and positions. I think in that sense, we balance each other out really well. We'd like to think that it's our connection that, that sets us apart from everybody else. Along with that is our intricate lifts and our uh, power that we bring, and we like to think that we do have the complete package in our skating. I can't remember really thinking about wanting to be an Olympic ice dancer at, at nine years old. I think it was pretty lucky that uh, everything kind of fell into place, and you know we've worked really hard to get here, but. Uh, I think I'm pretty fortunate. When I think back to that three-year-old little girl in that picture, uh, it's hard to imagine that I've grown into an Olympian. It was always some sort of distant dream that didn't feel like it could ever become a reality. It's so surreal.